Hey everyone, it's Carl Malone again, and I wanted to give you another video. This one's about proprioceptive neuromuscular facilitation, PNF for short. I got into this because I had crashed a hang glider and I had this S curve in my back and I was in a lot of pain for a lot of years. I went to this amazing doctor who used PNF stretching, laser, and a percussor that we'll demonstrate here, this technique here in a little bit. I've used it a lot with patients with low back pain, and to give you some idea, the reason, part of the reason that low back pain occurs with people sitting in office chairs and whatnot, car seats, um, people that drive a long distance, the curvature of a chair compresses the hamstrings. And that tends to shorten the hamstrings over time. What happens is that tends to pull, the, the hamstrings are attached at the base of the pelvis, that tends to pull the pelvis and then the back scrunches and tightens so your QL and your erectors, your low back muscles try to tighten up, results in tension in the piriformis and the glutes. And we need to release those muscles and re-educate them to be longer, take the pressure off the low back, and so many times you can make low back pain almost completely go away. In my case, it was completely gone in just a couple of sessions. So I've had great results with this technique, and I want to demonstrate that to you now. So this is a really simple technique. There's really only a couple of basic moves to it. Starting with bringing the leg up with the knee straight, toes up towards the knee, and you want to go until your patient or client tells you that's good right there. Now they don't have to be working real hard. Just tell me when you feel a little bit of a stretch without straining. About right there. I can kind of feel it too. Now I'm going to take the laser as I put it here to the hamstrings and I want you to push with your heel right into my hand with about 5% of your strength. Yeah, about a third of that. Right there. Yeah. So it's not a strength contest at all. What we're trying to do is just activate the muscle, re-educate the muscle at the new length. Using the laser helps reset the muscle memory, which is the Golgi tendon muscle spindle response um, that measures muscle length and, and sets the limits um, recorded back to the cerebellum in the brain. So now we're going to just let the leg down, and I like to just kind of let it relax. And then same thing, knee straight, toes up. And again, tell me when you start to feel a little stretch. So you'll notice we already got several inches of improvement. It's really that fast. We hold about 10 seconds while they press lightly into your hand. And relax there. And we let the leg completely relax, toes up to your knee, and then notice this time where we go. Okay, right there. Now lightly press into my hand again, about three times, three or four is fine, at least three. And again we hold for about 10 seconds. And you can see she's almost to 90 degrees already. And now I'm going to have you bend your knee, and I want to press the knee into the chest, and I'm going to take the laser and just set it here at the glutes. I'm going to assist at the heel, and the idea here is just to compress the knee up towards the chest. Make sure you don't over strain them. We just want to go to a nice comfortable stretch. And we hold this one for about 15-20 seconds. Then from here we're just going to rotate the foot in and the knee out and compress leaving the laser there at the piriformis muscle or at the glutes. Comfortable there? And now we bring the leg back straight. At this point I'd walk around the table and reach around this side, but for demonstration purposes I'm just going to switch to the other leg. And what I often do, if I need both hands, is I'll ask you to take the laser like you're shaking hands and I want to have it right here on the IT band. So now we're going to ha have the knee straight and I'm going to reach around and just cradle the leg. I want to put my hand on the hip bone and I want to bring the leg clear across. And I want to rotate the hip back flat and I'm trying to stretch the TFL and the IT band. Okay there? Yeah. And just get feedback from your patient or client. And that's the front side and then we'll have the patient or client turn over and demonstrate the back side. Now with your client laying face down, we want to take the laser and just lay it here right at the low back at the lumbosacral ligament or quadratus lumborum attachments 
and we're going to place our hand right along the base of the rib cage, reaching around to the hip bone, and you want to reach around and hold the ribs while you rotate the low back. This is a really good stretch. I have people tell me all the time how good it feels and using a laser is going to help re-educate the muscles, help the muscles relax, and it's also calming and soothing. And you'll hold that for a few seconds. You might let off and then re-engage. So now we're going to add the vibrocussor. And with the vibrocussor, I'm going to place my fingers just right at the attachment of quadratus lumborum up at the rib cage. And the nice thing about the vibrocussor is you'll feel these muscles tighten up. And then they'll just release and let go. And then along the erectors, just compressing into the transverse process of the vertebra. And you can even do some friction up and down. And are you comfortable there? Yeah. And then at the lower attachment to quadratus lumborum. And you can even work lumbosacral ligament. And this is a good time to work into the glutes, releasing the glutes. Piriformis attachment at the sacrum. Piriformis muscle belly. This is one of the best techniques for sciatica and low back pain that runs down the leg because piriformis is so deep you generally have to dig in with elbows and fingertips. Using a vibrocussor, it will help that muscle just release and relax nicely. And then right at the head of the femur, the attachment of piriformis. And while we're at it, you might bring the knee or bend the knee and do internal, external rotation. If piriformis is tight and there's difficulty doing internal and external rotation, this is a great way to get that muscle to release and re-educate that muscle. You could, of course, use vibrocussor along the hamstrings as well, releasing calf attachments. And that's proprioceptive neuromuscular facilitation. And you can always finish up with a little laser to the cerebellum along those nerve roots. And then it's a good idea to ask your patient or client to walk around, move around a little bit, get loosened up. Thank you very much.